Welcome to this week's Technology Tuesday. If you're like many of us, you're sticking a little closer to home these days. If the walls are starting to close in a little, you're in luck. All of the July Technology Tuesdays will show you ways you can explore faraway places through library databases that allow you to explore from the comfort of your own home. Today, we're going to learn how to use the A to Z World Food Database to cook some of the foods great, great, great grandma used to make. So grab your library card, because your card number is the only passport you need to start your culinary investigation. To start today's culinary travels, go to our homepage, www www.mylpl.info and select Research on the upper right toolbar just below the search button. Then scroll all the way down the page until you find the Travel and Geography toolbar. Click on the bar. The A to Z World Food Database is the first selection under Travel and Geography. It contains 7,000 traditional recipes from 174 countries, along with information about ingredients, food culture, and reference articles. Let's give it a click and see what's there. When you land on the page, you can stop and visit the day's featured country. Today's is Cyprus. You'll notice that there is a small moving box in the upper right-hand corner, giving you the option to click and learn about the food culture and recipes of the featured country. Let's click on Food Culture and see what happens. Now the page shows us a number of choices in the left-hand toolbar divided between food culture, beverages, and recipes. As you can see, each category is divided into still more subcategories. Two of my favorites under food culture are daily meals and did you know? Let's see what's there for Cyprus. The daily meal subcategory varies from country to country, but for Cyprus, we can see that lunch and dinner are combined. Go back and explore on your own later, but for now, Note the snack and dessert subcategories. Yum! While browsing these sections, you may see an item that makes you hungry. If so, go to the recipe section and learn how to make it yourself. What's under desserts? Mmm, looks pretty good to me. But Cyprus was a side trip to our main voyage, and when you visit the page, who knows which country will be featured then. So let's head off to our destination country. Go up to the top center of the page and select the Food Culture and Recipes icon to get started. I want to explore Scotland 
since I know that's where my family came from. Hmm. Where's Scotland? <sighs> Wait. Scotland's part of the United Kingdom, so that's the country I should enter. Let's put in United Kingdom and see what happens. Well, what happens is that we learn, according to the food culture section, that the UK has a reputation for serving food that's boring, bland, and boiled. Oh, come on. It can't be that bad. Let's check out the beverages section. What trip to the UK would be complete without exploring tea? Let's click that button and see where we go. The page takes us to information about the history of tea in Great Britain, as well as popular varieties and how the Britons consume tea. Let's leave beverages behind and check out the recipes section. It's broken down into eight subcategories, and when we click on salads, let's see what we find. Wow! Two standbys of every Livingston Parish kitchen. Potato salad and chicken salad. Go back later and explore these. Let's leave recipes behind and travel up to the top of the page again, next to the food and culture icon. We're going to select Ingredients. <laughs> Wowzers! It has 23 categories. Let's select flavorings. Here's 22 more subcategories. I love vanilla. So let's select that icon. When we select vanilla, we read about the origins of this mainstay of baking. And as we scroll down to the bottom of the page, notice the pictures of the vanilla bean at each stage of its development. At the bottom of the page, we find recipes which feature vanilla. I don't know if looking at these pictures is making your stomach rumble, but I just had to take a snack break. Click on any of these pictures to be directed to the page of the country from which it originated, as well as a detailed list of ingredients and its recipe. Now that you've seen what this page can do, I hope you'll come back and explore it on your own. It's fun to go back and trace the origins of some of the foods we eat. Thank you for attending today's session of Technology Tuesday. I hope you enjoy getting a stamp on your culinary passport. Speaking of getting stamps, don't forget to claim the Summer Reading Program badge you just earned for your participation today. Remember, if you need assistance using this or any other online resource, you can text the LPL at 225-396-4-LPL. That is 225 
396-4575 to be connected to a knowledgeable staff member. Bon appétit!